So, hello people. Um, I know that uh, a lot of you probably use um, different flight planners that, um, you know, they work well. They might work well. Um, however, there's a uh, flight planner out there that I like to use that's free, and if you're like me, um, you're on a college budget and don't really have that much to blow. So, um, I wanted to let you guys know about a free um, flight planning tool that is as good as um, a paid one. It's good. It's as good as a PFPX, and I want to show you guys how to use it. It's called Simbrief. Uh, www.simbrief.com. Um, you have to register to uh, use it, and to do that, it, it's totally free. Um, so once you've got your um, once you've got your um, registration done, um, you'll be you can go back to the home screen, and you'll be greeted with this. Um, this screen. So, what is it all? So, how do we build a flight plan? Well, that's pretty easy. Over here, go to dispatch. You can either click on it or come back down to dispatch system. There's all, there's all kinds of things. You can uh, save airframes. You can save flights. Uh, I just go to dispatch and create new flight. And say so you want to do a flight like the real world. So we come over and we do flight aware. And or any uh, flight tracker it doesn't matter which one. I prefer FlightAware just because it's what I'm used to. So let's see your origin. Let's do uh, Indianapolis International Airport and just out of curiosity, I wonder if they've got that direct flight to Salt Lake City still. So Delta doesn't, but uh, looks like. Yeah, Delta should be a direct flight out, which kind of sucks, because I really like that direct flight. But, uh, let's see, so there's a couple options. You can take Southwest, um, you can do all that. Let's just say that we're flying SkyWest 4666. So, you know, I, I'm going to pull the route for that and also use the flight number. Um, let's see, Rock 9 Spinner, pretty much a straight route. Oh, this guy already flew. All right. All right, so you've got all the, all the flight info down here that you need. Uh, so airline, it's your SkyWest SKW flight four six six six. Sorry if any of you are like super religious. Um, then we depart KND uh, arrive KSLC, um, and I think this actually just gave me the exact same route that I was at. Um, you choose your alternate whether or not you want one. Uh, you can do auto or none. Date departure time in Zulu and aircraft. You come down here and select your aircraft. So this is an E-175. So E... This was an E-175. Yep, 175. E-175. Alright. So we've got that. Uh, altitude, what did they file? Flight level 340. So you come over here. you got your time memory. Departure runway. Uh, usually departing runway 23 right at Indianapolis. Uh, arriving runway 34 right. Taxi out and in times. These are the times that uh, you expect to be taxiing out. Indianapolis is usually roughly around 10 minutes from push to runway. Taxi in is about 5 minutes at Salt Lake City. Extra fuel, you can take however much you want as long as you don't go over uh, MTAU. You can't take 99,000 pounds of fuel though. It won't, it won't take that much. Um, I'm not going to take any long for this route. Altitude, uh, you can either have it do it automatically or you can enter your own. So this is flight level 340. Although if you do this, it'll take away the step climbs, uh, which I don't use. Um, passengers, as many as you want, uh, up to its capacity. Cargo, and ZFW, just leave that at auto. And uh, you can do your captain thing, you can do your pilot ID. Um, and then you come down here for your route, and there's different places you can go to get your routes. Uh, I just copied one off that. I believe you have to back everything up one. Spain six. You have to, yeah, you have to back the uh, SIDS and STARS up one because it gives you a default um, air X cycle, um, which is 1603, which is out, outdated by about a year and a half now. So, um, yeah, go to analyze route. And Spain six hasn't been found. So, just keep, so basically, just keep backing the uh, ending number up until you get one that's valid. 
So it looks like we're going to be taking Rocky 8 direct to or the Rocky 8 spinner transition, Springfield, Illinois. Taking Jet 82 FQF, I'm not really sure which one that is. And then Jetway 116 to Meeker, which is the Meeker VOR. And then the Meeker VOR transition to the Spain 5 arrival in Salt Lake City. Once you're satisfied with your route, uh, once you're satisfied that everything over here is doing what it needs to, uh, we can go up here and say generate. Oh, uh, you can do um, different units, pounds and kilograms for weights. Uh, contingency fuel, you can do um, as much contingency fuel as you want. Usually it's about 5% uh, reserve fuel, you need at least 45 minutes. Um, that's FARs. OFP layout. This is actually your um, this is actually your flight plan layout. It will give your flight plans just like it would on a regular on a real flight. Um, like so, for instance, uh, Delta's flight plan layout. They have that on here, and you can get your flight plans like that. I'm gonna go ahead and use Lido because it's not uh, really copyrighted or anything. I don't want to. Um, I don't want uh, Delta to come after me. I don't think they would. I don't even know if it's a copyrighted thing, but I just don't want to do it on video. So I'm just going to use Lido. Uh, you can get a detailed nav log, which you actually need this if you want to download your flight plan uh, to your computer and use it on your flight sim. Flight sim. ETOPS planning. Actually, we don't need that today, considering that we're not going to be over water because uh, there's airports literally everywhere in the States. Uh, runway analysis. You can keep that, whether it's wet, dry, what the, what the winds are. And uh, notices to airmen. Uh, FIR, which is the center, or just regular NOTAMs. Then you can bring in your, you can bring in uh, flight maps. You can update your air cycle if you've got Navigraph, um, all that stuff. And then uh, once you're satisfied with your flight, you come to generate OFP, and it'll ask you if you want to overwrite any previously generated flight plans. Click yes or no if you don't want to. And once you get off of that, you will get this little guy. You'll get your uh, paperwork review, um, and since I chose Lido, um, this how I read this flight plan actually works. Um, you'll up here. You'll get the OFP summary, airline SKW for SkyWest, flight number forty six sixty six, aircraft Embraer one seventy five, uh, originating at Indianapolis, destination Salt Lake City. Alternate is uh, EVW. I'm not really sure which one that is. I think it's. No, I'm wrong. Uh, cruise altitude, flight level three four zero. Date, departure, and air time. Time in the air. Block fuel is uh, however many pounds this says. Extra fuel that the captain decided to take along. Uh, ZFW fuel factor. I don't understand really that one. I don't know what that means. Dispatch remarks. Uh, it gives you uh, whether uh, what notams you uh, decided to bring along. Uh, ETOPS. Uh, Navlog. Uh, units. OFP format and air act cycle. And then you can view the route map. If you click that, and you get this little guy. Pretty much a straight shot over. And then uh, you can do a few things up here. You can edit the flight. You can go back. You can completely cancel this flight and create a new one. You can actually uh, view your. Um, you can actually view your. Um, your flight plan. It will give. It'll actually generate this for you. It's a twenty. It generates a twenty-six page document that uh, you can use along your route. Um, that's cool. Because there are things on here that I've never noticed, because I don't use this. Um, I don't use this uh, out, this uh, output as as often as I do the Delta or Southwest or American. I try to do the ones that actually have airlines to them. So yeah, uh, you can pre-file the flight on uh, Pilot Ajabatsim. You can download your flight plan. He's got a he's got a bunch of the guy who does this is a freaking genius. Um, he has a bunch of um, flight plan. Um, Here's a bunch of flight plan uh, formats that you can plug into, for instance, Jar Design Airbus, Airbus or uh, just X-Plane in general. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can do. Um, this actually, a lot of these are fairly recent. Um, so you can do that, so you can download the FMS, and you can, if you're flying in Europe, uh, you can submit the route for CFMU validation. I don't know what that is. I've never used it. I'm, <laughs> I mean, I fly in the States mostly, so... Um, I wouldn't know what that is, but that is how you use um, Simbrief's dispatch option. Now you want now let's say you want to go and build your own fleet. Now that's pretty easy because you notice that I had a bunch of 
when I chose my aircraft, you saw a bunch of airplanes with uh, specific tail numbers that I didn't have on the other ones uh, that you won't have if you just registered. That's because you have to actually have to go in here and uh, actually build your airframes from uh, from uh, from scratch. I'm using air quotes. Um, you can sort it by civil registration. You can sort it by uh, type. You can sort it by um, you can sort it by the date it was modified. I actually the last time I I did a full, um, last time I did one was a <laughs> um, December thirtieth, twenty sixteen. So, so we want to build a new airframe. So first, you have to select the type. So let's say we're going to make an we're going to design a seven forty seven four hundred. Woohoo! I wish this thing had a DC nine profile on it. I really do because that was a beautiful plane. They've only got DC ten. The closest they've got to DC nine is uh, MD eighty two. But anyway, so we're, we've chosen the seven forty seven four hundred for example for this example. Click proceed. And you've got a bunch of stuff you actually have to um, have to enter in. Don't mess with this stuff. I have no clue what that is. Weight category is either light, medium, heavy, or super. So heavy is 747-400. Super is A380 or 747-8. Um, cell call if it has one. Fin number, civil registration. Uh, max passenger capacity. Um, let's see your Weight units. Uh, operating empty weight. Uh, this is where you, this is stuff you get from uh, POHs or Wikipedia or other different uh, things. Once you click save aircraft, it will save it to your um, it will save it to your fleet page, and you'll be able to select it when you go and um, when you go and, uh, and enter your flight plans. You can select your your brand new airplane, um, which will have the flight plans to it specifically for that aircraft, and not just a generic 737-800, but the 737 Delta Alpha Bravo Bravo Delta that you have right here with its specifications. Database. I actually don't really know what this is. Um, I've never really worked with this. Once I get this, I'll, uh, once I work with this a little bit more, I'll tell you guys. Um, and you can go back with uh, my options and come back. This brings up your flight plan. Um, and then, uh, yeah. So that's how you use SimBrief. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And tell me in the uh, comment box below. And I will see you guys later.